Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today is the final episode of the 100 day series. I hope you guys are all ready for this episode. It's going to be an epic one. Hopefully today we can go and fight the Ender Dragon. But first we need our necessary ingredients, which means probably some Ender Pearls. So I'm going to try getting a Cleric. I'm going to give one of these guys three bread. I'm going to give the other one 12 carrots. And I need to make more beds actually, and then they can breed. Okay, now we good. I got another bed, so hopefully they can breed while I'm away. Because a cleric villager could be pretty useful for us. Because I don't really want to grind all those ender pearls and finding endermen. Let me let me check how much I have right now. Okay, yeah, we only have a single ender pearl, so I think this cleric might be needy. Alright, so I just grabbed a book and some lapis to check what the enchantment was, and it's efficiency 4. So I think I'm just going to grab that, and okay, sharpness 3, what? Bruh. I'm probably going to put it on top of my pickaxe. Oh wait, I don't even have an anvil yet. Okay, I'm just gonna save this then. What's gonna happen to the sharpness 3 when I put it on my pickaxe? Will it just go away or will it be a sharpness 3 pickaxe? That would be kind of weird. Well, if we're gonna be trying to fight the inner dragon, we should probably get ready on our gear and stuff. Because right now, my armor isn't looking too good. I got blast protection 2, protection 1, protection 3. Yeah, we need an upgrade on that desperately. Hopefully, we can manage to do it in this 25 day time span today. Oh, and also a bow. We're gonna need a powerful bow. None of our bows are enchanted, but I do have a Fletcher, so I think he sells an enchanted bow on one of his last tiers. I'm gonna go check with him. Oh, what? they already breeded! Dude, no way, that was so quick. That was actually insane. I'm, I I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, our Fletcher's right here. We got power to punch one. Okay, that, that's a pretty good start. We can go, we can go with that. Dude, I'm so happy that we actually got a baby. Sick, dude. I, I can turn into a cleric. For the rest of the day, I placed a brewing stand inside of our villager compound, which definitely needs an upgrade, like honestly, this it doesn't look too good. I also went down into the mines to see if I could find some gold, because I wanted to make some golden apples for this fight, just in case, like a backup. It was honestly just a waiting game now, because the next thing I wanted to do required my cleric villager and getting all those ender pearls. I went back to the nether on day 77 while I was waiting for this baby villager to grow up, because I need some more blaze rods, I only had 7 back at home, so that would only give me 14 blaze powder. I was gonna need a little bit more than that just to be safe. I spent a lot more time in the nether than I originally planned because I was making like a better path to get to my nether fortress just to make it a little bit more safer. All right, I'm finally back home on day 79 and I got nine blaze rods with me. My shield is pretty low right now. I had to use it against those blazes a lot. All right, well our baby villagers should now all be grown up and be turned into a cleric. Our cleric finally was up and running. I had to waste a lot of emeralds. And when I mean a lot, I used all of our like 50 or so emeralds just to level this guy up. We really need to get to those ender pearls right now. Yeah, and that night I needed to do some trading to get those emeralds back. On day 80, I realized that our expert level cleric actually gave us one emerald for eight water bottles or just clear, clear glass bottles. I think this is a better income than the sticks, so I should get to work. Well, I guess it's a good thing that I literally live like four blocks away from a freaking desert. Alright, um, yeah, one of my villagers accidentally escaped, but he was a smart one and he just walked right back in, so thank you for that. Well, I finally upgraded up our cleric villager and I realized something. I realized that this cleric villager did not come with an ender pearl because the second to last level should have given me an ender pearl, but it didn't. I think it was like a 66% chance that it does, so that is kind of unlucky. Now I have to go do this all over again. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. On day 81, I captured a villager and I made him go down into this deep hole where I killed him so no other villagers could see me do this horrible act. By the end of the day, our baby villager was back. Day 82 was just filled with more trading while I was waiting for our baby villager to grow up. I gathered up a hefty amount of emeralds a day. Thank you. Day 84 was spent grinding up our cleric villager back to where it used to be. Hopefully this time we actually have inner pearls. Alright, this is the moment of truth, if we get ender pearls or not, come on, I really don't want to do this a third time. Oh, thank god, let's go. Oh my goodness, we, okay, this is, I really did not want to do this again because I have a whole schedule lined out about what I'm going to be doing each day and if, if this didn't work, my schedule would have been all messed up again. Thank goodness. Okay, let's grab our two ender pearls and I need to go get some more emeralds to trade with this guy. Let's go, dude, I'm so happy. Good thing my villager still had that one glass bottle trade because that one was like probably the most useful because glass is just so easy to get. So on day 84 I copped ourselves a brand new Thank bow you. along with some more Thank ender you. pearls and gave our carrot farm a little trim and now it's looking pretty clean. And I wrapped up our day with some good old mining. I wanted to make an anvil. Alright let me grab my book and we got our anvil down. Let's see how much this costs first of all. 
Oh, it's only four. Okay, good. It, it removes our uh, sharpness, which we don't even need. So it just gives us unbreaking three and efficiency four. I will take that pickaxe. Wait a minute. If I buy two of these bows, can I combine them? It's probably going to be like 50 levels, though. It's okay, though, because we got our mob farm. It should be okay with any level issues. All right, let's buy one of these. All right, I really want to see what happens if we do this. Oh, yeah, it just, it just combines our power. Oh, no, and punch. So now we have power three and punch two. That's insane. Okay, I'll take that. Maybe an unbreaking book would be nice. That anvil is going to be pretty useful for us in the near future because I my armor just still sucks, man. There is no way I'm pulling up to the Ender Dragon wearing like Protection 1 and Protection 2. I'm just going to get destroyed, dude. I honestly had no idea how I was going to get all this god armor in a couple of days' time. I figured I was first going to level up my armor villager. Let's see what kind of armor he has in store for us. Okay, so I have an idea. Right now, my helmet is trash. We're not going to need that, but I got three diamond helmets right here. And if we combine these, that gives us protection three, unbreaking three. And if we combine it one more time, it should give us prot four. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, I need another prot two one. Hold on. All right, now I'm back with another prot two. So if we combine these two prot twos, we get a prot three. Oh, we're not going to have enough levels for this. But yeah, it only costs 12, but then we'll get a prot four. So I'm going to try to go for that. After a bit of mob grinding that day, I finally got enough XP to make my prot four helmet. And yes, I do listen to your guys' comments, so I made a grindstone to disenchant the unneeded armor. Day 86 was just me grinding out to get some better armor, traded with our villagers a bunch, disenchanted a bunch of trash armor, and enchanted some more using our enchantment table, trying to get a better enchantment. I said enchantment like 30 times in this sentence. Here were some of the best enchantments that I got during that day. On day 87, it's time to get some gold and some diamonds, because for the gold, we need to make some golden apples just in case it's like a backup, and we need diamonds for a diamond sword. Alright, so I got my ores cooking over there, and I don't know how I missed this, but I already had two diamonds inside of our chest. I, I completely just looked over that, I guess. So, now we got four extra diamonds. Well, anyway, while these are cooking, I'm going to make my diamond sword, and hopefully we get a good enchantment from this. Just need to grab my lapis over here real quick. Alright, what do we get? Knock back to oh dude come on bro all right i'm gonna go for it and then i'm just gonna disenchant yep that was that was complete trash okay so we're low on some xp so i'm just gonna grab our cleric dude over here i think he sells bottles of enchanting yes sir i don't know how much i'm gonna need i'm just gonna buy them all screw it i don't think i needed that many actually oh wait what okay that gives you like nothing never mind okay now we good let's try this one more time Knockback 2 again? Are you joking, bro? Oh, okay, this is this is just messing with me now. This, this, this is not okay. It took a bit, but I managed to get a diamond sword with sharpness 4 and fire aspect 2. No one breaking, but it's alright, because hopefully sometime we can add on to it. Alright, I think it's probably time to start heading out. We're pretty ready, gotta craft these eyes of ender. 16 should be enough for us. Oh, I'm excited, dude. Hopefully we don't die here. That would be a pretty tragic. Day 90 was just traveling to get there, and same with day 91. Thank god I actually had enough ender eyes to get there. I also brought a bed with me just in case I had to sleep through some nights. And yes, sir, I finally got there. These ender eyes were leading me to the exact same location, right around this, like, sandy thing. Well, here we are. We now are actually inside the stronghold. Time to get exploring. I've already got some pretty useless stuff, like some gold, some bread, like an iron pickaxe, and now we are here at the library section. Oh, that was a silverfish. Let's see what kind of goodies we can get inside of here. Piercing 3, smite 4, and looting 2. Oh, looting 2, that could be good on my sword. When we are going to get those skeleton heads from the nether, what are they called again? Oh yeah, wither, wither skeleton skulls. When we need those, looting will be super helpful for us. That was a mistake I made last season. I, I barely used the looting and it took legit ages to get those skeleton heads. After a lot of exploring and treasure hunting, I finally came across the end portal room. My inventory is a mess right now. Hold on, let me just throw away some of this stuff. Alright, I don't think I'm going to be needing most of these things. I'll throw away the seven redstone as well. All right, yeah, my inventory should be clean enough for now. But this ender portal frame thing doesn't even have a single eye of ender in it. Good thing I have enough though, because I think you need 12. I didn't know it was possible for it to be like spawned with none. I thought I had to at least spawn with one or two. That's kind of unlucky, but it's all good because we got enough ender eyes for this thing. Boom, there we go. We got the black void. I think it is our time to shine.
and there it is. That is the Ender Dragon defeated for the second time on this channel. Now, I was just in awe, and you'll see in this replay that I do something really dumb, but it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I spotted an Ender Pearl right there, and I walked into the portal as soon as the portal, like, activated, so I kind of missed out on all the XP, but it's okay. When we go back to the end to get the Elytra, I can just grab the Ender Egg, and I'm guessing the XP is going to be gone by then, but if it's not, it's it's okay, because we still got mob farms and XP farms that we can build. Yeah, I, I hope the Dragon Egg is still going to be there, though. I'm pretty sure it stays, though. Day 94 was just getting back on track and, you know, just planning some new things about what we should do up next. Alright, well, I'm having some plans about the future of our, like, kind of base. So, obviously, we're gonna need a proper housing for our villagers here if we're gonna want to get some more villager stuff, like mending, obviously, is one of them that I want to get. Yeah, I don't think- I don't think we can keep them living inside this villager cage for much longer. Oh, wait, I just realized we have four beds in there and three villagers, so I think I'll go breed these guys. In the meantime, just so we can have one more baby villager while I work on this new house. So I'm thinking of just kind of expanding, like, my pathway this way. There's a lot of open space back here. I feel like this would just be a nice spot for just, like, a little villager house. I'm gonna actually try to make it a lot, a lot better than this, obviously. So I'm just gonna dig out this little space for our villager compound. I think it's gonna look pretty cool next to our mountain house. Okay, I got this, like, main plan kind of thing laid out. It's only gonna be this big, but I'm planning on doing floors and maybe, like, a little basement area, which is where most of them are gonna chill at. So this path kind of goes up this, like, a little hillside. I'll have some stairs, trapdoors, just to make it a little bit more smoother of a transition. And then we'll turn to our right over here, and then I can add some, like, bushes or something in the front to make it look a bit nicer. And yeah, I'm actually super excited for this thing. I don't think we're gonna be able to finish it this episode, but hopefully next time if you guys want to see it. And also I added a little pathway down this way. We can have some buildings or some like storage, anything on both of these sides over here. And I probably will either demolish this or keep it here as kind of like a monument, you know, just to show like what our first villager compound looked like. But yeah, this base, I'm planning on just expanding it more that way. There's a lot of planes that way. And then there's some sand places over here. Um, I could have like a cartographer trading center over in that area because it is just like sandy, you know, there's gonna be glass for days over there. Alright, so I know I just started this house, but I'm already liking this design. I tried to go with something different by using birch this time instead of the usual like normal oak I always use, and this is turning out to look pretty cool. Alright, I wanna show you guys what kind of design right now I have for the floor. So we're gonna walk right in, we got some like weird kind of oak kind of design right here. Oh, there's a creeper. Hey, yo, chill out, bro. Let me just, let me talk to the community right now. I gotta show them what I'm doing. All right, so we walk in. This is gonna be a staircase, so I'm actually gonna, like, dig this out, and it's gonna go downstairs. I've decided to just make this one floor, I think. Unless I want to make a staircase on there, too, and it could be, like, a huge kind of building, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary right now. I want to make this downstairs, and then all this stuff I'll fill in with, um, birch, birch planks. And, yeah, that's kind of the floor design, and these are gonna be where the windows are. I haven't fully done this yet, but, like, I don't know. You guys kind of get the idea. Alright, well, I'm gonna do a quick little time lapse of me just filling in the ground. I'm not gonna use replay mode because, like, this is just, like, a really small project. I'm just gonna do the flooring. That's about it, so, yeah, just enjoy. Alright, I wanna show you guys the progress on our new house. Um, let me grab some wheat real quick. I'll tell you guys in a second. So, on the sides of our villager house, we got 2x2 two two windows. I decided to do that because it kind of like centered more and then right here i'm thinking of maybe expanding the house that way more i was gonna have this open as like an option if i ever want to in the future just in case like you know this house isn't big enough but yeah we got more windows more windows this is gonna be the front door haven't completely done that yet but basement still haven't done yet but this thing is looking pretty cool i never usually build with birch because in my opinion i think it's like way too bright of a wood i don't know i i just don't really like using birch but honestly i might start using birch more because it just uh, it looks cool it gives it like a kind of modern luxurious feeling oh yeah and about the wheat i want to go find some sheep because i want to make a sheep pen just for some like you know just more wool production we don't really have a way of getting wool right now i'm gonna go see if i can find some i couldn't really find any sheep nearby me last night but the next day i got a couple so we all good all right so i have these guys trapped inside this little pen on the other side of the villager house i already breed one up there we go we got our first baby sheep here but next up on my plans is maybe just, I don't know, I kind of want to go in the nether, see if I can find some netherite. I probably won't, to be honest, because like last season, I don't think I got full netherite everything until like day 470 or so. Like, I don't know, it was kind of a low priority for me last season because I didn't really need all netherite tools. We only have five white wool, which would only make one bed. So, okay, maybe, maybe netherite is not such a good idea right now. I think we'll need a lot more wool first. On day 98, I got myself a smithing table right here, as you can see. Because our baby villager is finally born, I'm gonna place down a smithing table so when he wakes up, or not wakes up, when he grows up, he should turn into a toolsmith. I'm just gonna place that right there. 
And okay, you, you better be a great toolsmith when you grow up, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna have to transfer all four of those dudes into here as soon as possible though. Probably gonna use minecarts. The easiest way in my opinion, could just because I've had a lot of experience using them. At the end of day 98, I added some little things to our brand new villager house. Just some more layers of wood on the top. On day 99, only one more day from reaching 100 days survived in this hardcore world. I chopped down some trees because I needed some more sticks to sell to our villagers. Because to level up our toolsmith, we were gonna need a lot of emeralds. Thank you. 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 Alright, so the day is about to end. The sun is setting. I'll recap what I've done so far. So pretty much I I I mastered up our um Fletcher to master level. And now he sells us arrows of slow falling. Kind of random, but you know, slow falling arrows, that's pretty cool. Over here are oh that, that's our armor. My bad. Where, where's our toolsmith? Oh, this oh, this is him. Alright, um, yeah, I, I can't buy these anymore, but we've got some unbreaking one axes, like not not that helpful, but you know, free axes, man. I needed a replacement anyway. Yeah, he's really close to leveling up next. And hopefully we get some nice tools out of him. But right now, I think it is time for us to all go to bed. Well, guys, we have finally made it into day 100. Let me press F3 real quick so you guys can see. Yeah, there it is right there on the left side of my screen. Day 100. It's taken me about a month to get here for like playing and editing time. So it's kind of been a journey. But yeah, I think we did pretty good in 100 days. I know in my last season, I'm pretty sure I did a lot more in the first 100 days than this one. But I'm trying to go for more of quality this season and less of just kind of speedrunning everything. So expect to see some nicer builds, some just better overall contents for this season, I hope. Okay, wait, this path kind of is weird. It's like too blocky. I'm gonna, maybe I should just remove this part of the path. Yeah, well, do you guys want a 200 days? Let me know down in the comments below. Oh, wait. Bruh. What? I just realized I don't have a skin on right now. Okay, I already know the comments are going to be telling me that because I probably missed that the entire video. Yeah, my skin just died for some reason. All right, well, anyway, do you guys want a 200 days? Let me know down in the comments below if we can get 1,000 likes on this. 200 days is coming. Yeah, but I'm super excited to see what our world would look like on day 200 because honestly, bro, there is going to be so much progression since we got most of the hard work out of the way, like getting tools, getting armor, all that stuff is pretty much good. Diamond is going to be good enough for now, I'm sure. Netherite is definitely just like an extra kind of thing, but still will be helpful for us. Yeah, well, that's probably going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next 100 days, if we do make the next 100 days, I'm planning on, first things first, you know, moving out of our, like, small hobbit hole here. Because it's it's a tiny house. We, we, need a, we need a more luxurious lifestyle, man. Yeah, okay, I've been, I've been talking too much. Well, anyway, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.